Well, good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, or whatever your current life situation is. Hello, YouTube. This is Jeffrey Kite coming back at you again with another TTM through the mail autograph episode of Kite's Curiosities. Got one in the mail today. It's a local one coming out of Atlanta Metro. Doesn't give the name. Well, there's the address, folks. Is the address, and I know who this is. Uh, this is a return from one of the greatest quarterbacks in Georgia Tech history. Now, I know there's some people out there are going to be saying, come on now, I thought you were a big dogs fan, Georgia Bulldog fan. Well, I am, but also give love to the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets because I am a firm believer. I am a firm believer that if Georgia and Georgia Tech are going good and playing at a high level, the whole state benefits. And both teams uh, being competitive, it's just better for everybody. So uh, I, I support the Jackets a little bit. I had a cousin go to <laughs> Georgia Tech, so yeah, I got a little, a little little piece of me there. And a guy from my hometown was at one time their starting quarterback. So uh, at any rate, let's go ahead and dig this in. But now I I don't know. Um, it's kind of thick. This is a thick. It's a thick envelope. It's got some extra pieces in it. Um, and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because the guy that I wrote to is very. He, he's way up there in age. I want to say 86, 87, 88 years old. Um many 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 of his teammates have since passed away and for years i mean years about three or four years ever since i got this card of him um i have looked for his address searched for it couldn't find it researched 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 couldn't find it and finally this year i found it i found him living at that address let's see what's in this envelope hopefully it's, it's good news let's see hey opening envelopes like this good. i like to just tear the ends off but it's a pretty oh, part of that stuck to the paper Just so hard. I like to just tear the ends off. So let's see here. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Folks, as you can see, this is an autograph of Mr. Wade Mitchell. Don't know if y'all have ever heard of Mr. Wade Mitchell, but Mr. Wade Mitchell, he was quarterback at Georgia Tech from 1953 till 1956. He guided the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets to four, four consecutive bowl game appearances. I want to say they won all of them. Did they win all? They, well, I don't know. They might have dropped one. Uh, one of those bowls. But anyway, four straight bowl appearances. And during his time from 53 to 56, two top 10 national rankings. Uh, this guy was incredible. Um, let's see what the letters here says. And I'll tell you, I'm going to tell you all a little bit more about uh, Mr. Wade Mitchell here. It says, oh, he signed the letter. Nice. It says, Dear Jeffrey. Thank you for your kind words and for the card. I sent him two, and he signed one and kept the other one, which I, I, I told him he could keep, which my grandchildren will enjoy. Man, I tell you, I, that makes it all the worthwhile. Best wishes to you, Wade Mitchell. Wade Mitchell was, he was an incredible, incredible athlete. Um, in high school, 
he was like all state in about three or four different sports, football, basketball, a track. I think he ran. I don't, I don't know if he played any baseball or not, but I do know football and, and, uh, track, I want to say basketball, but anyway, he was an all state performer back in, uh, late forties, early fifties, uh, guided his team to his high school, some state, some state championships. And, uh, it was just a phenomenal, phenomenal player. Where is he? Uh, he was, yeah, North Fulton high school. Uh, there's the stats played 1953 to 1956. Um, was, was a running quarterback. He was a game manager. As you can see, he only passed for a thousand and two yards, eight touchdown passes in four years. I mean, you might think, well, daggum, that ain't very much for four years, but back, back during this era now, I mean, back during this era, that was, that was some pretty, pretty stout numbers right there. Um, 1956 was his best season, in my opinion, uh, because he was the MVP of the Gator Bowl in 1956 when they beat, uh, I want to say it was West Virginia in that game. I mean, they just trounced them. Uh, Y'all can research that game and look that up. But I am so happy, so happy to add this all-time great Georgia Tech quarterback to my collection. He um he was a like a third team all all SEC performer on the field, but in the classroom nobody could touch this dude. He was an academic all-American and he went on to an illustrious, I mean an illustrious career as a Georgia banker in uh, the metro area. So, very happy to add Mr. Wade Mitchell to my collection. All right, folks, that's it. Just one today. Like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. Till next time, y'all take care. Now, have a good one. Bye.